game brought to you by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional Medical Center. Thibodeau Regional Medical Center, a game changer in South Louisiana. This coming summer, the $73 million Sports Wellness Center will be opened up right here in the heart of Bayou Country. And that's why you're going to be in shape, Mike Dettelier, because you're going to be right there keeping in shape as they introduce the teams here at Thibodeau High School for this gigantic Bayou River All-Star Game. We like to call it the shootout, and it's a beautiful facility for this event because as people continue to file in here, it will be packed to the rafters. Let's take a look at the guys who would be starting for the Bayou team, and then we'll take a look at the guys who will be starting for the River team. Here's your Bayou roster, and as you look at that Bayou roster, you get excited about guys like Quentin Scott from Ellender, who was a 4A All-State player, just has great moves, fun to watch, and, and Quentin Charles from Central Lafouche, man, he was in the slam dunk contest, he can do it all. And he's a guy that really is a great distributor of football. He's like the quarterback on the field. He knows who to get the ball to at the most critical times. They're going to be a lot of fun to watch. Then as you look at the River Parish roster and the guys who play, by the way, every player gets to play 10 minutes, so it really doesn't matter who starts because everybody's in there, but watch number one, Brendan Taylor. Lutcher. He's a lot of fun to watch. Troy Green from East St. John won the slam dunk contest. And Mason Oquan, uh, man, I'm going to tell you what, you're going to see that at halftime too. Mason Oquan won the three point contest, and it's just fun to watch. Mason, outstanding shooter for Hornville High School. And, you know, we got to talk to the Hornville uh, High School uh, head basketball coach. And we know it, you know, as a football school. And they do a great job also in baseball. But, man, he's got that team turned around, lost the last four games of the season. He had a 500 record up to then. Yeah, really? So, you know, in this game, this is all-stars. They want to show their stuff. They want somebody to see them. It might be their last game. We talked about that uh, when we introduced the program in, in the Open. But also, there's a little pride here in who wins between the Bayou and the Red. This is the fifth. Each group has won twice. And if you didn't think it mattered, last year when we got down to those final five minutes, it wasn't me showing my stuff or you showing your stuff. It was let's play as a team and win this thing for either the river or the bayou. Yeah, and the thing about it is in this game, when you look at it, all these guys, this is, you know, that career didn't end with a championship. That's right. You know, so they want to win here tonight to go out with that W on that last game that they play. Absolutely. So we have three officials tonight from the... Thibodeau Officials Association, Milford Gagner, Rhett Griffin, and Travis Ward. You know, Rhett's a guy, you know, we go back a long way. He grew up right up the road from me. Actually, he was a terrific basketball player at Central LaFouche High School. So I told him, hey, listen, you got to keep it fair. Keep it fair. You know what I mean? It's that old Rodney <laughs> Dangerfield line. <laughs> With, without question, these guys are fun. Greg Stock, the CEO of Thibodeau Regional, standing out there right there with our referee tonight, Milford. And uh, he may be doing the toss tonight, huh? Yeah, he'll be doing the toss tonight. And the next year, Ken, uh, that's a good possibility. This game may well be at the new wellness center. And uh, I guarantee you, if you haven't seen it before, it is one of the most beautiful facilities you'll see as far as the medical center is concerned. And uh, we talked a little bit about it before the game. Well, what it's done as a game changer here in South Louisiana. And Greg's been the spearhead part of that uh, group to get that done. Very exciting, and, and that wellness center will have, as you said, a full a basketball court. So I'll, I'll be court. using that, and, you know, in, in my spare time, I'll be doing that. They also have two Olympic sized pools that'll be there, a huge weight room, and uh, they actually have a football field built right behind Nickel State's football field. So that, that'll be an interesting concept of uh, working out players, getting people back in shape that uh, is coming off of an injury, and not just athletes, but also. The kind of everyday Joe and Jane out there that can go to and, and get involved with this. And it's been a big part of what Greg's tried to, to push the last few years. So you're telling us you can work on your slam dunk, your three-point shot, and Man, your listen, point my passing slam, and your field goal kicking all at the same time. And my, my, slam dunk, my slam dunk is gone, but my, my shooting is still there.
So we're set to go, and we hope you'll enjoy this game as much as we enjoy bringing it to you. The river and the bayou. You know, Ken, it, it, it's pretty much a full house here. Oh, yeah. and, and, you know, this is game five, so it, it's the rubber match, two and two. The River Parish team is wearing white tonight. The uh, Bayou team, which is made up of teams from down the Bayou. The Bayous of Bayou Terrebonne, Bayou Lafouche, Bayou Black, Bayou Blue, in Terrebonne and Lafouche parishes. They are the colors tonight, and we are underway and set to have us one good time. Now watch these guys because they're all going to be trying to put on a show tonight. They can all shoot. They can all play. These are the best of the best that played in the area who are not at a, at a senior prom or something tonight. Matter of fact, we got one guy that might have to leave a little early. Leave a little a early. Prom. So yeah. that's the kind of fun that they're going to be having. Kim, one of the things in this type game, though, is the continuity. These guys have not had a lot of practice time together. Whoa, Thomas nice Claymore. shot. Thomas Claymore from E.D. White, and he will bury right off the bat a big old. So down the other side, missed shot, fight for it. Coming back down to Ellender's. He's going to take it down himself. Ellender Scott off the mark. And again, going back to that, Ken, uh, these guys haven't had a lot of practice time together. So, you know, they work out the kinks, and we've seen it kind of sloppy maybe a little bit early. But as the game rolls along, man, they get a lot of continuity between one another. Nice shot. That's Brendan Taylor. Brendan Taylor from Letcher High School. Oh, is that Troy? Okay. And back the other way. Troy pushing Green. it hard off the court and uh, out of bounds. By the way, Troy Green, what a fun time watching him go up. You're going to see the highlights of this at halftime, but he won the slam dunk competition, and boy, he had some pretty, pretty moves, and you're going to see a few of those in the first half of this game as we get going. And for a 17, 18-year-old kid, he's put together, too. I mean, he looked like he should be playing uh, tight end somewhere. Obama Hill from Vanderbilt Catholic was off the mark. We're going to go the other for the river, and there's yes, an off-center shot. They're going to move it up and down the court. Everybody's got to play man-to-man. -man. No zone in this game. Palmer Hill with it. He'll walk it around on top to Quentin Charles. And now they'll hold everything up and go to Rontrell Sandoff Thibodeau High School's only contribution to this game. Watch the young man Claymore from E.D. White with that ball. They're going to go inside. To anywhere. Oh, all by himself. There you see Quentin Scott with the big slam dunk. And he's got two. I could see that develop pretty quickly. They <laughs> wanted to get it inside to Quentin. And, man, he's a big horse right in the middle. 6-7, a forward. Ellen, the district MVP. First yep. in the in, uh, first team All-State. He's got it all. From long. the right-hand side, Mason Oquan from Hanville, excellent shooter, but he's right now. And they're pushing it hard Look down court feed. and up and in. As Palmer Hill with it, beautiful feed to Palmer Hill, who takes it to the hoop for the score, 7-2. to two. I was talking to Coach Don Rodriguez who was here, and he was telling me, man, he coached Palmer when he was like in the 7th or 8th grade, and he said, man, he was a skinny dude and uh, not very tall, and he's grown up into a big-time player at Vanderbilt. Oh, nice big time move nice. to the basket right there. Oh, we well, he back took down it the in other there. side very oh. quickly. That's Montrell Sand on the other side with it. Well, I'll tell you what, Montrell, you see it on the replay here. He goes right to the basket with it, hard right up against the rim and gets it in. Quentin Charles with the rebound takes it to the front court. Little stutter step and oh, the way goes Palmer Hill. Coming back out. Got to take this shot. Nice. nice. The bank. Mason Oquan with his first bucket of the game. Well, they're moving it up and down. They picked up the Charles can shoot fast. from the outside. Quentin Charles from Central LaBouche. Off the mark. Follow oh, from the corner. Nice but there shot. it is with Palmer Hill. And watch Palmer Hill. Palmer he can make again. things happen. The other way here is Green. Troy Green, if he fits himself around the hoop, he can pull his way in there to make things happen, but this did not fall that time. And, yes, yeah, Scott pulls it down. He'll take it to the court himself. Going right back to Sandoff. Well, he's going to take it. Hill. Oh, a fall away by Hill, just a little bit off the mark. Good steal by Troy Green. Green coming to the front. Oh, foul on that play. 
And we've got our first foul of the ball game called by our referee, Milford Gagner. I think that's on Quentin Scott. Well, you're going to see them do their stuff, run it. I mean, it's fast paced. This oh, yeah, is that's fast paced game and doing all of them beforehand. Uh, it got fast paced at the end of most of these games, but I've never seen one start off this way. And man, it, the tempo is up. That's what you've got to love. You've just got to love that about an all star game. They're going to play it that way. Look, at, look at Green just man. to the hoop big time. That physicality. He takes it right up in there. Now he's got six in this ball game already. And we're early on. Look at the move. Scott, and he's banged from on top. Quentin Scott from Ellender. He's going to draw a lot of attention as a 4A All-Stater. Well, one thing with Quentin, once he gets it inside, <laughs> he's taking it to the hoop. And <laughs> you can see real quickly, there's not a lot of passing on his uh, in once he gets it in that, uh, in that range. Everybody said, Quentin's got so many moves. He's just so hard to stop. And I asked him, I said, what's your favorite one? Your favorite move on the court? He says, man, I got a Euro step. You just watch for it. Yeah. That's interesting. I know one thing. If they pass it inside, he's going to the basket with it. Uh, there's no passing it back out. And that 6'7", you know, man, he's got some size. Got beautiful size. And he hits that second free throw. 13-9. Put a little pressure up. The other way. And got it. Oh, Ooh, just all. a little bit just off all. the mark by Lane Bolner in, in there now. The other way, Claymore nope, off the mark. It. Thomas Claymore. They, they got an advantage oh, here. Oh, look at this run. Two on one. Oh. Get it right into the hands of Claymore with a good out pass. Uh, here's, the here's the big guy. Here's the big guy. Oh, he missed it. Showtime and he couldn't deliver. <laughs> Oh, Quentin Scott, his <laughs> eyes were big. Look at the smile on his face. He said, that was showtime, and I wanted it. You couldn't get it. Take a look at this one, Mike. Man. Oh, it just wouldn't go. And then, listen, if you were playing a high school basketball game, a real game, it's Coach Mata got on him. Everybody was on smiles on the bench. Nice shot. Really, really nice shot. Now that's Jordan Bell from assumption of the game now, and he makes two. There's a foul, second of the ball game. And he, his uh, head coach is uh, sitting on the sidelines here. Uh, Jordan Johnson and uh, Jordan, a young man who played basketball at Southern Utah. Uh, has kind of worked around. He was a GA uh, back at Southern Utah, kind of bounced between Assumption High School and Southern Utah, and now the head basketball coach at Assumption. And Kenny had a little injury um, that's got him sidelined. Nice feed underneath, and Raekwon McKnight with the hoop. Down the other side. Man, Raekwon's a guy I'd like to play linebacker on my team. He's built for the position. Good gracious. Right up to the hoop with it. And he sinks the uh, free throw, makes it a three-point play for Raekwon. First point. By the way, that young lady you saw sitting there with Jordan Johnson was his wife, Catherine Stock Johnson. And the little one-year-old you saw was their sweet daughter, Violet. Well, Violet was giving me uh, some high fives uh, out on there, and so she's excited. Like every one-year-old, uh, you know, they, they get to get pretty nosy. I got a little two-year-old uh, two granddaughter, so I understand that position real quick. Jordan Johnson, Southern, Southern Utah. Utah, then to Assumption, then back to Southern Utah as a GA, then back to Assumption as the head coach. And uh, got hurt uh, a couple weeks back uh, playing a little basketball <laughs> and uh, hadn't got injured in college, but it's injured, you know, playing, working out with the kids. But he, one week after surgery, looks great. Good fight under that basket. And they're going to push it upfield. They're going to push it. 
Just a Boy, that short. looks so pure for just, just a short. moment by Lane Bolner out of Hanville. You get it. You can see him scrambling pretty good under the basket for it. They're going to try to feed Scott. Scott's going to dive it back. Here goes Sandoff. He saves it before going out. Oh. Look at Scott's move in traffic to the hoop. I told you, kid, he gets the ball in his hands. He's going to the hoop with it. <laughs> now, look, if I'm 6'7", I'm doing that, too, if I'm him. And uh, and he's, he's found a nice little spot uh, to get the ball inside. So we're going to see a replay of it, and he takes it up inside, takes a hard shot, and he tries to, to get the two-pointer to make the three-point play. He sinks the first free throw. Shot at about a 70% rate at the free throw line all year. Pretty good for a big That's man. That's pretty good. Man, no, not big man or small man at the high school. Yeah, you're not kidding. That ball will go out of bounds. And they are moving it back and forth. By the Massive way, they are, substitutions, too. Yeah, and again, every player has to play 10 minutes. So you're going to see some uh, massive substitutions, kind of a la Perry Clark's old posse when he took over at Tulane many years ago to make sure that everybody gets their 10 minutes and because they're moving it up and down the floor so much everybody gets an opportunity to rest and catch their breath so Eric Welsh with the ball number zero for Ellender high school and a nice steal taken away there by Trevon Bourne and there's just a runner just a from three-point range that is just a little bit off I believe that was Trey Jones with it from way outside, off the mark. Nice. Went up with it, just didn't fall. Trevor Rep stop. South Lafouche high. Had a foul on the play. And that will send Tom Washington from Homa Christian, 6-3 forward up to the line, average 14 points, 9 rebounds this year. Boy, and that, that's a school that has really blossomed, Ken, in a short period of time. Homa Christian, uh, you know, last year they had four football players sign scholarships. Small college, but still, man, that, that's a remarkable of, of how quickly that uh, Homa Christian has really developed his athletic program. Up the mark, fighting forward underneath. And he is got Winston it. Jones. Got it. White. The 6 1 center from E.D. White doing his job underneath. Or back underneath to Raquan McKnight from East St. John, who's fouled and will be going to the line, fouled by Curtis Anderson. One thing with the River Parish, uh, with, you know, without the big guy, when he, Quentin Scott's uh, on the bench, you got to take it inside. Yes. You, you really do, because you got to take advantage of that spot without having that big man in the middle. Bourne lost hold of it, tried to get it underneath, scramble for it on the floor, picked up, Washington oh. feeding underneath, trying to get it to Jones. Jones and Claymore, both good shooters for E.D. White from the outside. And watch them feed those two young men. You'll see them as number 25 and number 42 in the dark colors. A Look at bit, that feed underneath. Yeah, wow. A little bit of continuity, walk with the ball, a little bit of continuity, a little off. Again, all, all the interchangeable players so to speak going in and out again you don't have a lot of time to practice before this game so that's why you see a lot of one-on-one -on -one in type deals and more right to the hoop nice shot coming back the other way Knocked out of bounds love to see these guys push it a lot of them thought their basketball season and in some cases high school careers might have been over and then here comes the Thibodeau Lions Club All-Star game and they get that other chance. Nice shot. Oh, that's as pretty as you want to see Raekwon White, uh, McKnight right there. Moving down the other way is Eric Welsh. Getting it back. Distributing again. Anderson misses off the mark. Rebound. Goes to the river. Bolner, along with Oquan, the He's two Hondo shooters in this game, and he was close. Lane Bolner and Mason Oquan, two Hanville shooters, excellent players. Bolner, by the way, going to Southeastern as a walk on, yep. wants to major in education, good distributor of the basketball. We'll see it again here, Ken. Gets, uh, gets nicked on the shot. This is the first free throw. 
in and out. That's a friend's going to Southeastern. That's where he's going to go. Major in education. Hits that second one. His first point of the ball game. Bayou leading by two. And he hits the second. But a third one on the three point situation. Come back the other way. Nice. Tom nice. Washington. Tom Washington. Again, Homer Christian. That Homer Christian, absolutely. From the outside, boy, you're going to see some guys put it up, not worry about anything. Look out, McKnight with it, top of the key, loves that oh. spot, banked it off the board nice for his shot. ninth point of the game. You know, we, we've heard that McKnight name more on the football side, but, man, Raekwon's done a great job tonight. Oh, and he How got it. that move right he got there it. by, wow, Jones. Winston Jones, Edie White. Jones just took it up in there, gets his two-point shot, and then they'll get a free throw. Jones is going to go to LSU as an academician. Wants yeah. to just go out there and go to school there, but punt and kick field goal. He's, for pretty good. He he's, he's a pretty good on. specialist. Oh. Very good specialist. Wow, from way out on the other side. That's just pretty for Michael Caesar. His yeah. first bucket of the ball game comes from three-point land. And it takes these guys. Wow. Nice shot. Nice move inside by Trevor Rebstock. You're seeing a little one-on-one -on -one action now. These guys trying to play defense, but it's hard because these everybody everybody is <laughs> a one-on-one -on -one type show. <laughs> you know, they did a lot of passing shot. going on in this game, but well, that was a nice shot by Rebstock. He did a great job. Beautiful. Again, they're playing not not the regular high school eight-minute quarters, but they're playing college-style two 20-minute halves in this game. So we're about halfway through the first half, first half, and we have seen some beautiful action. Oh, got it stripped Welsh away. Welsh got stripped. Coming back down the other way by Lumor. Lumor has to dish it, and they're going to take it inside. Oh, nice. Now we got a jersey change. And I believe that might be Deron Williams because that's an assumption player. Yep. Missed shot. Or it might have been Jordan Bell. That was Jordan, Jordan Bell. Bell. Back down the other way. Well, he's going to the hoop with it. Tom Washington with a miss. In fall. The reason. Here comes Troy Green back in the game. Well, what he's a dish. Take wide open. Up. Good Got look it. on the other side. And what a look it was. And I believe that was Kelly. We've got a timeout. Time out. I think everybody needs a breather, including us, because we're going Even back Even the coaches and forth. need a breather. Time now for Traditions, presented by Joseph A. Bank, the new tradition since 1905. Louisiana might be better known for its football talent, but more than 100 NBA and ABA players were born in Louisiana, including eight members of the Basketball Hall of Fame. Did you know that? No, I didn't realize it was that many. I didn't either. That Lenny Van Gilder digs deep. That, that is, that's impressive. 
to find some of those special. For a, for a football-oriented state, and to have that much basketball talent come out of that. You watch these tournaments, and you see all these guys and kind of where they went to school at. It's amazing. Yeah, without question. All right, after the foul, we're coming right back the other way. This is Welsh. Took some foul. steps. We'll turn it over. Yep. Uh, the stutter step will get you every time. Bill Russell was born in Louisiana. Elvin Haynes was born in Louisiana. Paul Carl Malone was born in Louisiana. Let's see if we can name a few more. Might need a little. Lenny reminds me that Clyde Drexler, Drexler. was born in Louisiana. Yeah, right. yeah, that's it. Wow. Almost fell. Bob Pettit. Now that's little Jordan Bell from Assumption. The reason why he's got a jersey change, which wouldn't affect the way our, our, our fans are looking at the game, because they wouldn't know. Well, wait a minute. That might be Trey Jones from Destrahan. Because there were two number fives out there. Well. That could that could have been partially it. A couple of the Assumption players' jerseys didn't make it, and they had to get somebody to meet them halfway. And somebody had to so go pick them up. he took what he could. Just, just <laughs> to get him. He just grabbed the first couple of jerseys he could get. And uh, the only people that will confuse sometimes are you and I, sitting That's here at the it. scoring table with the, with the roster. Again, pushing it up the court. The three-pointer doesn't fall. Wow, missed that one. And again, that's green. Wow, he takes it up inside. Back the other way, pretty as it can be. And that's coming through with Repstock again. He's starting to make his presence known a little bit. Look at Green's move to the hoop. And Brendan Taylor also. So we got Brendan Taylor and Troy Green. Both wearing number one. Troy Green yep. from East St. John. Yeah, that's a clip on the on the arm. Yeah. Troy Green again just took over the leadership of this river team and the practices and everybody came together and they just started having more fun head coach chase delry of luxor said he's never seen a bunch of guys get together in such oh, a short period nice of time shot. and have a great time with that's it. tom, tom washington, washington again from Oma christian has he proven he can shoot all of a sudden big six free frame and and uh, just loving it goes. right goes inside up there. making it look easy that's kelly from st charles catholic joe kelly and from the outside again, Mark oh, with the shot. Nice Anderson hustle. back inside. And they tried to get it inside, Ken. They were trying to get it to Tom Washington again. Washington's been hot. Everything he's individually been putting up except one shot right now. Yeah. He's found the hoop. And that's Washington coming out of the game right there, representing Homer Christian. And guess who's back in the game? <laughs> the big guy. Quentin Scott. Quentin Scott's back in the game. Also from Ellender. Yep. District MVP, first team all state. Watch him. They like to get to him. He's been a leader on the Bayou side. Nice shot. shot. Beautiful range, making it look good. Deshaun Walker. Inside, Kelly. Off the mark with the shot from St. Charles Catholic. Going back the other way. Deshaun oh, Walker. Oh, look out. The big guy. Oh, bingo. You knew it. You knew it. Him and Dale are a totally different team when he's in the game. And he's bring, got a physical presence inside. And does he bring the fans to their feet? That's Brendan Taylor moving it in yep. from Lutcher. The number one from Lutcher. And they call a timeout. It will be a timeout because we are tied with 6.41 to play. In the first half. And here's the up. dunk by the big guy. Puts, puts it in there. Man, Ellen the high school, six foot seven. Now he's in the slam dunk contest, and he'll also tell you that, his, and, and even though I don't think we're going to see it, he's got an under the leg, over the top slam dunk that he says will just 
rock the house. If you're interested in purchasing a DVD copy of today's game, send an email to prep at sportsnola.com or call our offices at 504-681-0120 during normal business hours. You'll receive a reply with more information on how to purchase your DVD copy. Every player and coach gets their own personal exactly. DVD copy, which is something special to go in their last game. Charles also in the game right now, working it underneath. Oh, Look out, that's Lionel Batiste from Central Lafouche. Yep. River Parish wearing white. The Bayou group wearing the colors tonight. From out off wide the mark with misses. the long that piece shot. comes up with the rebound. Born off the mark. Underneath. This wouldn't fall. Wouldn't Won't fall. fall for Walker. Walker. Went back the other way. Here's nice. Taylor. Taylor underneath the green. Yeah, yeah green nice. with the bucket. Wow, he that was really a great pass. Happen. Great, great pass. Number one to number one. A bulldog to a wildcat. All slapped away. Comes down into the hands of uh, no, he was the out of bounds. River team. And they will turn it right back over. John Sean Walker from H.L. Bourgeois High School. Walks it up. Does he like to go to BRCC and then take it on and either hopefully get a scholarship or walk on at UL Lafayette? Off the mark, coming back the other way. Boy, you're going to see some three-point shooting in this game, whether you want to see it or not. Jordan Bell on the miss. I think Baptiste throws it up. We'll go in, but Scott comes up with the rebound. We'll go in. Scott's everywhere on the floor. Went Charles with a little bit of help. Off the mark. Ball. Walker can't make it go. Coming back the other way. Look at this. Whoa, he's Look going at the all the way in. And get great. there, my goodness. Jamison Lumore. And Mr. Lumore made a <laughs> That was one heck of a play. He just took it right inside and made in that layup. They had a radar on him. He'd be pulled over and given a speeding ticket. That's as beautiful as it wants to go. He'll dish. Back the other way, that's Deshaun Walker. From HL. HL Bourgeois represented in this game very well. Taylor from that piece almost got it away from him. Quick hands. On top, that's Taylor ball. with the miss. Brendan Taylor from Lutcher with the miss. We're going back the other way. Charles from Central Lafouche taking it up himself. He'll go to the hoop, put it up. No good. Yeah, just won't Tip fall. Got his it. own. Can't Whoa. get the third shot. Either Baptiste is fighting for it. Throws it out back. Oh, look out. And a big Scott guy. From NBA range. Ooh, off the mark. A little too hard. Here comes Troy Green to the hoop with the underhanded oh. scoop, and he's got it fouled. He's got a chance for, for one the, more. Got a chance for the three point play. He's another player. Aggressive in the hoop when he gets it inside. We'll see another shot of it here. He gets up here and gets hacked over the top and still hits the shot. And double digits now with 10, 10 in points. this game from East St. John. I'll tell you, he's big, he's physical. He won't dazzle you with anything special except some of his slam dunks. He'll just score and get to the hoop and make things happen. One thing I see, Ken, he's aggressive inside. Love he's got a chance to score. Oh, nice feed and, pass And that's why Scott. they call him the bull as Deshaun Walker, Walker scores on the other side for the Bayou team from H.L. Bourgeois. And that but was a nice pass, too, by Scott. But back to Memphis. what you said about Troy Green. That's why they call him the bull underneath. He just gets there, makes it happen. Mason Oakland, he's Mason. been on the bench resting. He's back in. He's scoring now. Won the three-point shooting contest. You love watching him put all kinds of things in the basket. Walker. Gonna, gonna try to get it inside. <laughs> oh, he's got a good shot. What a move nice by Quendon Charles from Quindon Central Charles. Lafouche. My goodness. Big man making it happen. Oh, he stripped away by Peace. Yeah, it. McKnight just trying to make too many things happen at one time. Look at Quendon Charles coming back the other way. Hit, trip, and 
Ball goes off his knee, and Karam's out of bounds. You know, uh, Central Foosh High School, they get to the final eight. Had they wanted to have been the farthest they have ever gotten mm -hmm. a, as a basketball team. Uh, just, just an unbelievable run. And Coach Mark Sanders was telling they had a 10-point lead with three and a half minutes left in that game and lost. Well, that's a heartbreaker, isn't it? The East Ascension. Baptiste up with Inside it. Inside with Baptiste. And he gets the around. roll. He's got the roll in Baptiste. Been looking for that first bucket, and he got it. Nice oh, shot water. from the outside. Shot, my goodness. That is Mason Oquan. And wow, that's all you can say. Wow. Quentin Charles again. A little too hard on the shot. Man, Baptiste, Baptiste is there to pick up the garbage and finish it. Man, one of the things with Baptiste all season long, he's been the guy to clean up things inside as a rebound, and he gets that, that little tight inside shot. 6 2, forward, central of Bush. Man, that is a sweet shot, kid. That is sweet. And what you didn't see is he, he bumped, got bumped a little bit, incidental contact. Fall away jumper. He went down to the ground after that. Got up, quickly moved down the other side. Ball goes in. Here he is again. And Mason again. He's a little short on that. Well, that time it was Bolner. Lane Bolner on the shot. Nope. Bolner and Oakland together. Two Hanville players helping each other out. By the way, you have so much fun watching these guys showcase their talent. You forget how close this score is and how much scoring we have in the first half. And I, I told you this, this may be the highest scoring all-star game we've done. We were almost up to 50 uh, on both sides, and we're not even halftime yet. McKnight dumps it to Oakland, who can't shoot it. He'll go back inside, and look at McKnight working Man. for the hoop. Oh, doesn't get the roll. Doesn't get the, the bounce in. I tell you what, he's a physical guy, Ken, and, and when he takes it up inside, that ball's going up. You, you're going to have to really hack him hard. For him not to take it, and you see it right up inside. He gets hit hard and still almost sinks that one. Played, played two sports but loves basketball, and he said he'll probably go to either Southeastern or Northwestern State to continue his basketball career. Not sure which one yet. Boy, and they push it back the other way oh. quickly. There's Thibodeau, Sandoff. Can't get it. Rebound coming down to Jones. Pick it up. He's From got the a corner. nice look at it. But doesn't fall. Nice look. Won't go for Oakwan. Picked up. Missed. Baptiste fighting for it. Loses it. It was Williams. Now we're going back the other way. Rontrell Sandoff. Dumps it off right side. There it goes. In there, and we've got Batiste on that bucket. Yeah, and that was Mason Oakwin before, and then Baptiste gets his shot. A little bit off the mark that time. Trey Jones, but look who picks it up. And boy, when he's got an open look like that, Mason Oakwin from Hanville can knock it down and make it look easy. And that's back-to-back -back shots from Mason. By the way, Walker. Then oh. move on the baseline. He'll be fouled by Boulder. And he sends it. We got some more substitution coming in. That's Shakarin Dillon. From the South Lafouche Tarpons. Got a few too many people out there, Ken. They got to get some out, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been a pretty good advantage, <laughs> 7 on 5. Nice size, 6'6 six, six for the big man, the big forward from South Lafouche. Bolner and Oakwin like to play together on the outside. And oh, put up from it anywhere. Oakwin with a miss. You're not kidding, but he'll take that shot. You can't give him a good look at it. And he gets an oftentimes very good look at it. Here's Dylan again. Oh. Missed, missed underneath. And the river pulls it down. Here comes Bolner. And Lost the ball. Lot trying of to get it to Oakwin. And look out. Coming the other way. Sandoff to the hook. Sandoff with the score. Ron Sandoff from Thibodeau. 
You can see one thing with Sando. <laughs> he gets the ball, he's going to the hoop with it. <laughs> Man, he's got some speed. Too. Jones the other way. No look out underneath. Ball knocked Somebody away. The hand on that ball. Yes, they got. did. And just a prayer goes up at the shot clock comes down. And, that and that's the end of the half. Clock, rather. And that is the end of the half. Game clock. And uh, what a first half that was. My half. goodness, as the river leads the Bayou 55 to 53. And if you took a breath, you missed something. Coming up in just a moment, we'll have the slam dunk contest finals and the three-point contest finals for you. All of that coming your way in just a moment. This is the Bayou River All-Star Game brought to you by Thibodeau Regional and the Thibodeau Lions Club.
Today's game is brought to you by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional Medical Center. Thibodeau Regional Medical Center, the game changer in South Louisiana. This coming summer, the new $73 million sports wellness clinic will be opening up right here on the Bayou. Fixing the start here in the second half of the games. And, uh, Kim, we talked about it before. They broke it up into two 20-minute halves. Uh, and, uh, man, again, what we've talked about so many times, 55-53, these games have been so close and have come down to the wire. Right now, the River with a two-point lead over the Bayou All-Star. And, by the way, how'd you enjoy We saw it before the game, but how'd you enjoy those highlights of the slam dunk that, oh, that was and the three-point contest? One, I, I told you that they... <laughs> They figured out not to use that brick wall. Only one of them tried, and they, they cut that real quick. We've seen that for so many years, them try to do it, and it just wasn't going to work. But, man, again, the uh, slam dunk three-point contest, so many people come here just to see that. Not only watch the game, but they get so much excitement out of it. All right, the river is moving to your left, and they are wearing the white uniforms tonight. That's the River Power Schools, St. James, St. John, St. Charles. And the Bayou teams are wearing the colors. That's teams along Bayou Lafouche, Bayou Terrebonne, Bayou Black, and Bayou Blue. That's teams in Lafouche and Terrebonne parishes. They are wearing the colored jerseys tonight. So a foul on the first move to the basket, sending Troy Green from East St. John to the line to get things started. And he picks up his eighth point of the game. Troy was uh, pretty hot in the first half. He had uh, a couple of almost goals, too. His teammate... McKnight, Raquan McKnight is the high scorer, high scorer with 13 for that group. He now picks up his ninth, and uh, Mason Oakland from Hanville has 12. That's where your two double-digit scorers in the first half for River Parish, and no one was in double digits on the other side, on the Bayou side. But their high scorer was Deshaun Walker from HL Bourgeois with eight, followed by Quentin Scott with seven. Scott did almost everything but hit double digits. There's Oakwan right there. He'll shoot from anywhere on the floor, and he's good. Eric Welsh with the pickup. Eric Welsh takes it to the He brings hoop. it up inside. Oh, nice look shot. Look at Welsh picking nice up his shot. second bucket of the game. The little man from Ellender High School making it look good and easy. Yeah, I know they list him at 5'9", Ken. I think even that's stretching it a little bit. But, man, <laughs> he plays a lot bigger than that. Kelly from St. Charles Catholic on the miss. And we had a foul, so on the rebound, so that will send to the line Deshaun Walker. Oh, pardon me. That no, no, it's Trevor. That's Trevor. Trevor, yes. That's Trevor Bourne Trevor from, Bourne West, Saint from West St. John. And Trevor missed the first shot. And misses the second and one, too. Oh! One. Picked up. Oh, almost a fancy putback. Won't go. Rebound pulled down by Repstock. Kim, one of the things you see here in the second half is that the River Parish putting a lot more pressure up the court. You know, they're trying to slow this game down a little bit and putting a little bit of pressure, also trying to create a turnover. Yeah, and remember that all teams have to play man-to-man -man and... But we didn't see a, a lot of pressure in the first half, getting it up the front half of the court. And I think he's starting to see a little bit of it. Again, a nice shot. And that's Welsh. And Welsh again. Players are allowed to match up full court, but there'll be no organized full court pressing until the final 10 minutes of the game. So you won't see it early. You might see it later on. Coming down the other way, and this time taking it himself. Nice to shot. Curtis Anderson. Boy, man. All these Ellender guys are putting up some numbers here in the second half. You see them with those blue and yeah. white uniforms on. They're representing Ellender High. And that time it got away from Raekwon McKnight from East St. John. And that's another turnover. Well, the way the scoring pace went in the first half, we're expecting 100 from both teams on the board in this one. And maybe the highest scoring game in the five years yeah, we've had. I don't this think there's any question. All-star yeah. game, yeah. Unless they cool off, uh, this will be the highest scoring one. So we'll have to get uh, Greg to get us a, a board with three numbers on it. <laughs> <laughs> Claymore, Thomas Claymore from E.D. White trying to inbound. He'll do it again. That one was kicked out. Going to toss it out court. to Curtis Anderson. 
Anderson can shoot, likes to shoot from anywhere. A little oh. short on that three-pointer. Russell with it. Kelly coming down. Kelly tries Not to go to the hoop, and well strips him of the ball well, from Ellis. I think he had a foul on him, too. Got a foul, too. Crowd always enjoys this game here at Thibodeau High. It's a small, nice little cozy gym and pretty well jam-packed. Not everybody making their way back from the concession stands yet. Here's the shot. This won't fall. That's that won't fall. Job Kelly from St. Charles Catholic. There's been a few renovations and the new scoreboard, but it looks a lot like it did 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really does. Claymont on the inbound. Working it down to Walker. He'll give it, get it back. Good distribution that inside. underneath. And a pretty move by Tom Washington from Homa Christian will draw the foul and go to the line. And Tom got hot in the stretch when he was in there. All six of his points came in that little all, hot all, stretch. All First. tight. Yep. And he almost gets this one to fall for him. You know, Tom's a six foot three forward. Yep. And, uh, good Homer frame Christian. on it. Good, good frame. Well, all muscular. Yeah. And he sinks the three throw. He's got his seventh point of the game. And when he's in there, yeah, I got to get him the ball inside. Yeah, average now, 14 well, and a, 9. Yeah. So the almost average double doubles. Yeah. And again, he makes a play, can't come up with it, but he made a play on the ball. Real athletic big man. Tom Washington reminds you of that young man type player in this game that goes, you know what? I don't know if this is going to be my last game as a high school player. Whether it is or not, I'm going to make the most of it. We're going to have some fun out here. We came to play. To see what he could do at a wide receiver position <laughs> at, at six foot three. Man, he could motor down that court. Jostle around a few people. Oh, turnover. There's a steal inside by Repstock. And then taken away again. When they pushing Back it up the court. The other way. Up and in. Is that Kelly down the other side? Hell, I'll tell you what, they are now They're pushing it back up the court. A three-pointer. Once again, Kelly from long range this time. This wouldn't fall. Wouldn't fall. Kelly's starting to show some stuff. Joe Kelly from St. Charles Catholic. It's at eight point. Listed on the roster is Job R. A. Kelly. And I said, What does the R. A. stand for? That's just my middle name. He says, I thought <laughs> yeah. they wanted I, the, whole, the whole thing. He says, But it wouldn't fit on the roster. So yeah. they just condensed it to Job R. A. Job. And he'll get the third now. He hits this one. He's in double digits. A triple. Yeah, double digits with 10. And he misses it. And the reason why I said triple, I was thinking he had a triple double. Said it was the highlight of his senior oh. year. Wow, how that with a nice block on the board. My goodness, that one by Lumar. Shot to the outside Lumar. by Kelly again. But go down to the other side and oh, Jamison Lumar Maiman. from the St. James Wildcats. Man, at six foot, if he's six one, man, he he really tripped it on that one. He got up in the air and made a big play. Uh, Kelly said he had a triple double against here we Pope John Paul earlier in the year was the real highlight for him. And from deep, didn't fall. That won't go. Can't Washington find it. with the rebound. Down the other way, look out, Bourne dishes it. Oh, oh that shot way Whoa. too high. Kind of a smile there on the Repstock, face of Trevor, Trevor. Repstock. That's Trevor shot. Lafouche, yes. He's just smiling, going, yeah. Let's not look at that one again. Somebody said from the stands he must have thought the hoop was on the other side. <laughs> nice shot. Nice shot by Green. Oh, pardon me, that's Brendan that's, Taylor. That's Brandon. Brandon Taylor from Lutcher, the Lutcher Bulldogs. Underneath, put up and in. Man. 
And that That's is Repstock. a pretty play by Trevor Repstock, who now has four from South LaPouche. Five of a guard, averages 14 a game, and likes to take it to the hoop. That was a great pass, and he feeds it into Trevor, who sinks it in. Yeah, the feed was the, was the key on that one. Trevor's got a chance to make this a three-point. And misses out. Off. Rebounds comes down to Kelly. He's going to take it up the floor himself. Shot from the right side. No good. Lumar. Scramble for it. Claymore trying to take it away, but draws the foul in doing so. So Taylor will inbound. He got a good look at it. Just didn't yeah, fall. Brendan yeah. Taylor Lutcher didn't fall. Here we go the other way. Man from HL rolls it all the way across the court. Good look on the right side. And that's no Trevor. Good. Here's your follow by Trevor Repstock. Won't go in. He's got a lid over that basket, and they can't find it. Substitution in. Good look at little Curtis Anderson from Ellender's 5'11. Accord. Michael Caesar's in from Destrahan High School. Big six foot five forward. And we got a timeout. Let's stay here and 63 62 the river ahead at this point. Here's our upcoming schedule on the first NBC Bank Prep Showcase. Soft baseball coming up later this week. Mount Carmel and Hanville. A couple of Hanville players playing in this game. That's Paper Lay Thursday night with WHO. Pachatula, St. Paul. It's live on Sports Nola. Tape delayed on WHO, Channel 20. And then you see St. Charles Catholic and Brother Mark. So. Charles Catholic won a thriller over Riverside, one to nothing this week. And that game was on WHO. Back in action here. Pace has slowed down just a little. It was a run and gun first half. Flame off from the corner, just Long misses ball. from Edie White. Young man, I was talking about Michael Caesar comes up with the rebound. Oh, oh walk with he it. didn't want to. He just couldn't get rid of the ball. He was trying to pass it, and the ball just stuck there in his hands, and the big step went down. The foot went down. Curtis Anderson. Oh, Ooh, nice slap play. Down. Yes, by Brendan Taylor. Brendan Taylor. Taylor's going to take it down. It's a look at the behind-the-back pass. Oh, oh but they can't convert fall. on the other end. Won't fall down. My goodness, Bourne had an opportunity and couldn't finish it. And it wouldn't fall. Claim on with it with a behind-the-back move. Dish inside. Here's the fall away. Jumper. It won't nope. go nope. for Anderson. But Revenstock gets the other it. The other way, Anderson gets another Anderson's shot. Got. Well, they had the opportunities on the other Man, end. Curtis got three good shots, and then he gets fouled. <laughs> he gets two shots out of this. <laughs> He's wondering, is there cellophane over the hoop? Stretching oh, from one end of the rim to the other. It just wouldn't fall for him. And he misses the first three. Throws. Still won't fall. Four in the game, looking for number five, and we're going to have some massive Man, substitutions. A lot of guys coming in and out now. And one of the rules is everybody has to play at least ten minutes in this 40-minute game. And the coaches usually like to make as many substitutions as they can early, and you get down to the final eight, seven, eight minutes, and then you're going to see the guys who are hot. Well, I know one thing. I, I see number five back on the on the court. That's yeah, Quentin Scott from <laughs> here that you Quentin. see. And everybody else sees him too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a difference when he's either on offense or defense. Man, With nice out shot. Question. And that's Michael Caesar, who Michael you talked Caesar. about, who just came into the ballgame, had three in the first half, and now – his first bucket of the second of, half. I had one of the coaches tell me, watch Michael Caesar tonight. He is a really good basketball player, and he's shown it on both ends of the court. Six Rebound and a score. From Destrahan. Yep. Quentin's going to stand up, take the shot. Won't fall. 
little short. Looked pretty, but just caught the net coming down, but not with the ball passing through it. By the way, Michael Caesar played football and basketball his first yep. three years at Desperham, but his senior year said he wanted to focus only on, on basketball. basketball. That yeah. was it. I, I remember watching him play football. Wants to go to LSU and major in environmental engineering. Says he probably won't even walk on. This, this is probably it for Michael Caesar. Wearing number 23, jersey number 23. 14 22. Guess what? We've just gone to the bonus. And Mason Oakwan. A 91%, a 91% free throw. That's shooter. impressive, yeah. brother. <laughs> I, I don't care where you're shooting at. And that's impressive. A 91% free throw shooter. You don't want to put him on the line too much tonight. Well, late in the game, I know one thing. He's not the guy I want to follow. 4.5 GPA on a 4 0 system. Gracious. How's that? Mason Oakland, great story, won the three-point contest. Left side shot off the mark. Oh, Trevor gets it. Oh, side. big Quentin Scott. Yeah. Look out. Knew it eventually. He's going to get that. Yeah. Quentin Scott now working his way up to double digits. He's got nine. His next point puts him in double digits for the night. Troy Green. Dishes it. That's a little short. Long shot left side. Won't work. Man, for a big man, can Scott handle the basketball? And Whoa! Look at the dish off. Here comes Ron Trail Sandoff from Thibodeau High. Look out. Hello, everybody. Six foot tall, but he dumped that thing with some spare. Oh, and the miss. Whoa, underhanded scoop wouldn't go. Coming back the other way. Look out. Here comes another. And Ron Trail again. Charles, and Sandoff again and gets Sandoff. it in. Follows up. He is coming alive with nine points in this game. The last four back to back here in the second half. There goes Bolner. He'll dish it. His teammate Oakland. Baptiste gets the rebound. Look out there. Moving it back and forth. Quentin Charles. Quentin Charles will dish it off to Baptiste. He'll work it around into the hot hands of Sandoff. Oh! Well, I'm glad. I think he tried to get it between I, his legs yeah. and grab it. It didn't work. He didn't lose that but ball. But he tried it. He didn't lose that ball. He was trying for between, between the, the legs, legs and grab and it. He was going to go around yeah. and get it. Yes, sir. He was trying and for it. Look at. And we're going to see first the dunk here by dunk. Sandal. How does that little guy get up? He's sick, listed at six feet. You know, he's about 5'11". Uh, yeah, I would say he's five more to 5'11 for it. Yeah. And then he tried to go between the legs of a defender, and it didn't work. My goodness, though, what a pretty attempt. Oh, and, oh a strip and Quentin of the ball Scott. by guess who? Scott stripping Oakwan. Coming back the other way. Scott's going to take things into his own hands. Oh, and he hit it. Yo, Quentin Scott in double digits with 11 points on a pretty move to the hoop. Some all-star action and some all-star moves. Kenny, before we start, I said, that's the guy. I mean, you could tell. He has got the athleticism, the size, shooting ability, but how well he handles the football, just so impressive. Good. Now it's gracious. How much fun is that? Is this to watch? My, my, my. 70, 67, the Bayou. All-Stars ahead of the River Parish All-Stars. If you're interested in purchasing a DVD copy of today's game, send an email to prep, P-R-E-P -E prep at sportsnova.com or call our offices at 504-681-0120 during normal business hours. You will receive a reply with more information on how to purchase a DVD. Again, two 20-minute halves. Playing college style timing in this game so that every young man out here gets extra opportunity to play. Quentin Scott shaking it off, loosening up at the line a little bit. And he sinks it in. 12th point of the night. Can the even, big 6'7 guy from Eleanor. Even when he doesn't hit the shot, he influences the play. I mean, it's remarkable. We've seen a few of them like that in this game in the past. And he's really an impressive athlete. Oquan trying to go around and tried to force it in. It's saved off the left side by Caesar. Ooh, somebody follows up. Is that Caesar on the follow? Yep, sure it is. Caesar on the follow. There it is. Seven for Caesar. Who's and they're feeding it back inside to Scott, who misses it. 
Tried to go through traffic. Everybody backed off. Coming back the other way. Here comes Trey Jones, Destrahan, yeah. and he'll try to toss it to one of our camera guys over there. He didn't make a hard play on that. <laughs> <laughs> he can shoot. Todd could have could have put it. He could have could have stepped in and easily hit from the baseline. Yeah. Sandoff with it. Watch He's Sandoff. He's been stand so up. hot this time short. And Baptiste follows through. Wow. Lionel Batiste. He's up to eight now in this game. Bolner lost it. Saved by Green with the behind the back D to Oakland for two. Goodness gracious. Quentin Scott's going to. Oh, he's got a three. He hits a three-point shot. He's got a three. Look out. The big man at 6'7" can hit it from the wing. Trey Jones, Destrahan. He says, let me try. So oh, he answers from the wing himself, Michael. <laughs> now we're coming back the other way. Look out. A man from Central LaFouche. Charles. And he's missed. Quentin Charles. Parrish has it. Coming back the other way. Trey Jones, Destrahan. Ball slapped around down there. Caesar with it. He'll hand it back to his teammate, Trey Jones, both from Destrahan, and Jones will back it up and start over. There's some hard coaching on the other side by Chase Delry of Lutcher and some of his assistants, including his father, Rick Delry. And a move to the inside by Troy Green, who will draw a foul, going to the hoop. Troy Green, East St. John, 6'4", plays more like he's seven feet in a game like this. He has just been, as Chase Delry said, his teammates nicknamed nice. him the Bull. Look at that behind the back. He can do it all. Not a substitution now again. Big, he's physical, he's just fun to watch play. And he might just get in, sneak into double digits right now with his 10th point. He and sure he does. does. Knock down his 10th point. Anytime Rontrell Sandoff from Thibodeau, dressed up in the gold, Thibodeau High gets into the game, he has been red hot. Come in and, and uh, hit. A bunch of quick buckets in a row. Baptiste inside. And he tries to move Lionel Baptiste from Central Lafouche. 6-2 averages 14 and 7. A big body inside. Here. Big body inside for the Trojans. Trojans had some players with Trevor Repstock. Yep. Well, Trevor's a, Trevor's a South Lafouche guy, but... Uh, that's uh, Lafouche, that's yeah. right. Lionel Central Lafouche. Yeah. Right. They had a hard run. You know, that they lost 10 games this year, seven of them, by three points or less. The foul line not to his liking on this one. And it's picked up by Green. Pass down. Hard oh, hit down there on the other side. Raquan McKnight goes down, and he is getting up and will be fine. Watch this collision under the basket coming in hard that time. Sandoff was there. And also Lane. Or rather, Winston Jones. Winston. From e. White. Yeah. yeah, Winston Jones from E.D. White. That's a timeout. Again. Everybody takes a breath. Scoring pace is slow just a little bit. We'll take a break and be back in just a moment. We're having fun at the Bayou River All-Star Game at Thibodeau High.
the latest news on high school, college, and pro sports in Louisiana, visit sportsnola.com. In addition to unique opinions from our team of area writers, check out our first NBC Bank video updates. It's all at sportsnola.com. Great crowd tonight at Thibodeau High School Gymnasium here in Thibodeau, Louisiana, to watch the fifth Bayou River All-Star Game, All-Star Shootout, as we like to call it. And it has been just that, from the three-point contest to the slam dunk contest, Ken Berthelot, Mike Detelier, our entire WHNO TV crew. How much fun has this been? Raekwon McKnight at the line. As usual, 76-75. <laughs> I mean, close. you know, every game we've done has been razor close, and not a game is tied at 76 with Raekwon hitting the shot. Each of these teams, the River teams, the River Parish teams, and the Bayou area, that is the Lafouche Terrebonne teams, have each won twice. Right. So whoever wins tonight has the one-game advantage lead in this series. It's the rubber match game. And McKnight gives them the lead at 77-76. And we can't say enough about the Thibodeau Lions Club and Thibodeau Regional for helping sponsor and promote this game every year for the kids who, as we play their last game of their high school career in this but some of them, their last game of their basketball, basketball career, career correct. in this game. Got away that time from Sandoff, Sandoff from Thibodeau High. So in white, the River School moving to our left. The River Power Schools are in white. They're moving to our left. Shake from McKnight. Raekwon from the Don't right fall. side. Sandoff with the rebound. And we're coming the other way. Bayou He's got teams. an opening inside. Oh, takes it nice through. Nice move by Deshaun Walker. H. Bourgeois in double digits at 10. Gone back the other way. At the top. Uh, not going to fall. Nope, it won't. That was Brendan Taylor from Lutcher. Three-pointer. from the corner. Not going to fall. Off the mark that time. Won't go. That was Charles coming back the other way from the corner again. Won't this go. time goes by Rick Juan McKnight from East St. John. And everybody has gone cold for just a little bit. They've hit a cold spell. So Charles says, let me take it in. There he goes. Move. Can't hit from the outside. Give it to me. Quentin Charles will take it from the outside to the hoop, and I'll put it in. He does. And here is Taylor from Lutcher. The steal rebound. that time by Jordan Bell. Right side shot, no good. Coming back down to Brendan Taylor, and Taylor will take it up the floor himself. Raekwon. Sit down, Raekwon. Look at that move by Raekwon on the other side. Cleaned up and put in by Troy Green. Or was that Taylor? That's Green. That's Green. Troy That's Green. Green. Sometimes, folks, now you'll see... The same digits being worn on the jerseys by players because they get to wear their high school. Nice. How's that by Quentin Charles from Central LaFouche? Well, somebody's got to light it up and get going, and he did. From the top. That's Taylor. He's short. Coming off the bench a little bit cold. From the left baseline, way out there, not going in for Palmer Hill, who's been very quiet in this game lately. Coming the other he, way, he got hot out by he got hot early, Ken, and then it's cooled off. And he was a guy that uh, we yeah. thought might put up some big numbers here, Palmer Hill from uh, from Vanderbilt Catholic. Yeah, where is where has he been? They were looking for him to put some up. This uh, hadn't fallen for Palmer. Ninth in the state, double doubles. I don't yep. mention all state. Sixteenth among the senior class. In three-point range, and he's got to just find that that mark and start jacking him up a little bit. Nice Ooh, play steal by Claymore. Oh, no, he threw it back. Wow, he threw it back. Yep. But what what a steal by Thomas Claymore from Ed White. <laughs> and that's Charles from Central Lafouche High School with a nice spin move up off the bank and in. Steele going back the other way. Hill. Nice pass to Scott oh, inside. Scott inside can get it done, and he's now up to 17. Average is 22, getting close to his average, going back the other way. And how's that no, for a move by Jameson Lumar? <laughs> he's another guy. Man, almost when they need a shot, Lumar gets it for him. 
Well, that time, Bourne couldn't go. Somebody got a hand on that one coming back the other way. And uh, almost traveled, just got that ball out of his hands in time. I think they let him take an extra step on that, but what, uh, the, the ball went over the top. Again, the influence of Quentin Scott in the middle. Yes. You saw his shot <laughs> divert the guy in the middle. Amazing to watch. Palmer Hill again dishing it as he's so well covered. Claymore from the left side fall, can't hit it. Fall. Scott Quentin with the rebound. With the He'll rebound. foul with the fall away that won't fall in traffic. Either. Won't fall. Have a little sub coming out of the game. This is Tom Washington from Homer Christian coming in again. He's with impressive. The dark navy yeah. blue uniform. He, he's an impressive athlete. 14. Yes. Very impressive. Seven points, and he's done so quietly. And he almost got that, that rebound, that offensive rebound. Good dump inside. Deron Williams can't do anything with it from assumption. The big 6-3 forward averages 10 and 4. I think Curtis Anderson got his hand in there and caused the foul. Deron says, I love a quick jumper. And if I can get in the crowd, I can get it up and, and shoot that ball real quick sometimes, give my team a little bit of spark. And uh, his coaches here talked about him earlier, Jordan Johnson from Assumption High School. That's right. Remember the shot from early in the game, ladies and gentlemen, where he's sitting there with the crutches. Got injured from Southern Utah here with his lovely wife and little one-year-old daughter, Violet. Again, Washington dumps it. Oh, right side nice. Shot. That's nice. pretty. Now we might see Palmer Hill That's start Palmer. to line it up a little bit. We've been waiting to see him unload. He only has seven in the game, and we thought he might be I thought he was a double digits right guy. I yeah. really did. And he may still be that way. Claymore with the rebound. Got it again. But he'll dump it to Scott. Scott, he's going to shoot Scott's wide it. open. Good look. Oh, Bingo. my goodness. Bingo. My and Scott's goodness. the one with 20 after. And that's a three-point shot three. for a six-foot-seven center forward. Got a great look and then didn't hesitate. Took his time, measured it, popped it, off it went. How special was that? Bourne lost it, coming back the other way. Quentin Scott, again. look out, gets and his gets own rebound in. and finishes. And with that, we'll have a timeout from the River Parish bench. We finally got some pull away for the first time in a game we've done. The Bayou 91 for the River Parish. But again, Quentin Scott, three-point shot here. Nothing but net. And he's feeling it. You can just see him. He's feeling it. Think 15 of his 22. Well, I know we got less than five minutes left. Come from but, three point uh, range. Uh, if we had a vote on an MVP. I think we know where we'd go with this. I think it would be number at this five. stage. I think it would be number five wearing the colored jerseys uh, tonight. I do believe from Ellender High School, Quentin Scott. And he has been absolutely money. And again, we talked about this during the game. Is when he's in the game defensively, he has caused alternate shots. Uh, everybody's shooting from a different angle when he's in there defensively. Again, for a big man who's six seven, how well he can shoot from the outside, Ken, is just super impressive yeah and look he looked pretty good in the slam dunk competition too that was won by Troy Green we are back in action 445 445 to go Jones with it from Destrahan works it underneath there you go Requan McKnight Juan McKnight and he's got 17 when they, oh, look at this. And they left Washington the all way. along. Tom Washington from Homer Christian. Got look at it. Here's the look at it. Washington with it, but he gets hacked. And uh, stripped by Trey Jones of Destrahan. So that'll put Tom Washington on the line. And he sinks it in. 
This copyrighted telecast of the first NBC Bank Prep Showcase may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of WHO TV 20. I think we'll get a lane violation. Lane violation. Take it again. Yes, somebody stepped into the lane too quickly. Ken, one of the things with four and a half minutes left, I mean, every possession counts now. Because you're talking about an eight-point lead at this point. You you can't give them any more distance. And you've got to play some defense. That's a nine-point lead. And the ninth point by Washington. Oh, and they oh, left somebody wide open. By himself, Pate Mason Oquan. Mason Oquan, look out, now has 18. He's lighting it up from the other side. Quickly, Washington oh, coming and down. Oh, my goodness. Curtis Anderson. Curtis Anderson from Ellender. First point of the second half by Curtis. Here comes Trey Jones, Destrahan. They're going to move it down underneath. Oh, and he sunk that. What a move to the hoop. What a move to the hoop by Troy Green. <laughs> Troy Green taking it up inside hard. Gets that bank shot. Give him another one, and one coming up. Huh? He's got 14. Now and 15. Make it 15. Now you got some guys who you expect to light it up or doing just that. Troy Green with 15. Raekwon McKnight, 17. And Oakland leads everybody with 18. 18. Leads everybody on, on the, the River, River Parish, Parish team with 18 yeah. because Quentin Scott's got 22, and he leads everybody. From the Bayou Terrebonne, Bayou LaBouche squad. Claymont, good dribbler. Now, he's got a great three-point shot. Can put it up in traffic from anywhere on the floor. Look at this. Coming around the other Comes way. Right up. Charles. And he goes on for two. You know, one of the things we talked about at the end of the first half, and now we've seen it again, a little bit more pressure. Once they inbound the, the basketball, they know this time is precious now. Three minutes, 47 seconds left in this game. Always pad that lead if Quinton can sink this. Averages just under 15 a game. Co-district MVP for Central LaFouche. And missed he misses both. both of them. Wow. Had the rebound. And that's a big series now. They got to get points here on the Riverside. Brendan Taylor from Lutcher to the hoop. Leaned in. He'll be fouled and will go to the line shooting the bonus. Fouled that time by Palmer Hill. Yep. This is the first one. Well, all of a sudden, everybody's got nice cold from the free throw line. And hits it. Cut the lead to five. And again, we've seen a lot more pressure. Which you can on the do. Inbound. But you got to be careful with that. Because if, if you try to get an open, easy shot. Eric Welsh trying to go underneath to Quentin And the Scott. turnover. And they turn it over and look out. Again, that five-point lead, it, it was nine. That's down to five. Down to they five. got a shot here to bring it down to, to three. Two or three, depending on whether they hit a two or a three. Oh, oh inside. Inside. How pretty is that for Raekwon McKnight from East St. John, who now has 19. And Scott, Scott just pulls up, and oh, it won't fall. And he's hit five like that tonight. But not this one. Coming down green to the hoop. Green bumped and in. And Raekwon. Raekwon will try to this follow. Won't fall. No. Welsh with the rebound. Welsh is coming the other way. Sandoff. Sandoff. And he gets Boom. it. Nice play by Sandoff. Look out. Sandoff with 11. And this is run and gun again like we Ron started. Rontrell Sandoff. How is that? Left-handed. Listed at six feet, probably about 5'10 on stilts. And he can play, brother. And I, I know that. He's six that, feet. That he guy can play. He's playing like he's 6'5 tonight. He okay? can play. <laughs> and again, Ken, it's, it's now back up to five-point lead with less than three minutes left in this basketball game. So 
every possession now. It's so quick for the River uh, All-Stars. You know, Mike, it doesn't matter what you're listed at. It's how big you play. You can be six feet. You can be five, ten. Well, it's easier to play. It's easier like for us. He's playing like he's it's six easiest five. for us to see that height part when they got you know six foot, six one. That five foot ten and a half. That's not going to work on, on that uh, program. <laughs> Charles Delry, the Lutcher coach, is coaching the River Power Schools, and Derek Sush, the Terrebonne coach, is a coaching nice crowd the Bayou here group. Night. And again, always a nice crowd here at Thibodeau High Thibodeau School. High school. When they, where they just fill this gym and, and have some fun and they support these young men. And then I'm looking up and I see those two signs above us and Travon Reed and Greg Robinson. Man, two great bass football players here at Thibodeau High School. Up and off by Mason Sandal. Oh, oh, Mason Oakland from Hanville. Missed it. It'll be inbounded by Jones. Well, they're trying to get the ball into the hands of their oh, one goodness. of their best three-point shooters. And Scott. Yeah, look who's got it. Look out. He's Here comes Showtime. It. Maybe. Nope, nope, no, no, no. He's an inside. Underneath the Palmer, the Palmer Hill. Palmer oh, Hill's and then nine. they lose the possession. Wow. Ken, here it is. Scott dishes it off. The Palmer Hill just sinks it in. And that might have been game, set, match. Seven point lead. Well, a spot around two. And Palmer's going to take a shot from deep and doesn't fall. Missed everything. Pulled down by Brendan Taylor. Works to the top of the key. Won't Taylor fall. Take it. It Again, won't go. Scott He's with the just rebound. Been told on these last couple Ooh. of shots. Guess who pulls down the rebound? You would figure. Yep, Scott with it. Now they can just play in the final two minutes of this one. Welsh. Nice oh, scoop. But it and won't Palmer. Go. Palmer. Great offensive rebound. Top. Charles. And that won't fall. No, just off to the right. Won't happen. Green coming oh, down. That Into the corner. Look out. There's Oquan. Short on it. And Charles again. He's it pushing it up the court. He wants to go to the hoop with this one. Charles to the hoop. Charles. Won't and go. Scott Tipped tips it in. But Scott. I think that he might have been over the top. Yep, over the he top. He went over the top. Has good interference over the top, won't go, won't come. We're still with a seven point game with 129 to play. Yep. yep. On yep. the rim. You can see it there. Oh, wow. Whoa. There's Brendan Taylor hitting one that he's been trying to get from the outside. And he Fletcher cuts High. this lead to four with 116 left. Here comes the pride factor of. We're doing this for the River Paris schools, or we're doing this for the Bayou schools of Bayou Terrebonne, Bayou Lafouche. And a timeout. Okay, we're going to have a little bit time of out by the strategy Bayou here with 107 to play. Ken Berthelot, Mike Detelier, it's been fun watching these young men just do their thing and show their wares. And, wow. and I think we had the limit. I don't think we've ever done a game, even if it stopped now, and it was 99-95. You know, it has been fast paced, and these guys do just for not being on the court in a lot of coordination. Ken, they have done a great job of putting the ball up and putting it in the hoop. I'm, I'm so impressed with that. It's been a couple weeks since they've last played in organized basketball, but yet you see what they've done here tonight. Just, just a great showing. And looking a little bit of a, a little bit of a defensive. Oh, look at that. And now Mr. Here. John and Mr. Luke Ford. Oh, yeah, man. You might as well say Mr. Mr. Thibodeau Lions Club. They have been such big leaders in the Thibodeau Lions Club, of which the entire membership yeah. of the Thibodeau Lions Club does such a great job. But John Ford on the left. And uh, Mr. Coach, Luke. Coach sitting. Luke Ford, as we like to call him, with the Indiana Jones hat on the right. I, I say he's trying to copy Bobby Bowden <laughs> with that hat on. Uh, man, Mr. Luke and I go back a long way, and he always tells me, man, I had gray hair. When you was a young boy player. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, man, Mr. Luke walks his dog every day around out at Nichols. And uh, just remarkable, uh, both of them, Luke and John Ford, and what they've done for the community here in Thibodeau and also for the Lions. Well, I want to thank him and Craig and everybody in the Thibodeau Absolutely. Lions Club for their tremendous help in helping us prepare for this game because it's not easy. And they do a great job putting it all together because it means so much to the young men who play in this contest. Playing a little keep away here. Yeah. 
And, and Charles up inside, and he oh, makes it. What and with the foul. Duncan Charles now at nine. Under a minute to play, and during that timeout, Lionel Batiste came in the game because he's a big inside defender who can make a difference on the board. So, Well, what you saw was that Central LaFouche connection. That's right. Baptiste and Charles. Baptiste and Charles made it happen. Good move. We've and broken the it. century mark for the River Parish Schools. They're at 102 now. And Charles is in double digits. There we've got one by Brendan Taylor coming on the other side. And that's a timeout. In timeout with 45 seconds to play. 102 to 97. Ken, um, we talked about it before. The Bayou team, a five-point lead, 45 seconds left over the River Parish. And uh, we saw Raekwon McKnight again. Uh, oh, and he has been a terrific, terrific player here tonight for the River Parish team. See that guy just to the left right there wearing number 11. That's Mason Oquan, and he has really been a heck of a story. As we tell you, a 4-5 uh, uh, great 4-0 system, a young man with a 31 ACT. Going to walk on at UL Lafayette because his dad played baseball there, wants to uh, major in engineering, and that's why he's picking UL Lafayette. And just a real special player for and you got Coach a 4.5 point. group grade point average. That's really impressive. Oh yeah, man, yeah. And that, you, you one smart cat. Coach Spring at Hanville said, you know, when he when he came over from Salmon. Uh, he said Mason really wasn't an impact player, and he was watching him shoot around, and the ball was just kind of coming off the front of the rim, and they changed his release point yep, a little bit, and the rest is history. He went from from wherever he was shooting to 25 points a game, six and a half rebounds a game, and made all the success that they had this year. And you think about it with Mason, uh, made honorable mention, all state. I mean, that, that's a great honor. When you think about all the talent out of this state, and he, and he got on the honorable mention team. Hey, all-district all golfer. Exactly. I was going to say, he's a heck of a golfer. I know that. Doesn't pick up the clubs through basketball season. Goes out oh, and shoots an Charles. 82 first time out. And Sandoff saves it. Look out. And Baptiste oh, misses the shot. It. That would have been a heck of a shot if it had made it. Coming down the other side with 32 seconds to play. Off the mark. Who's got the rebound? Charles. Wendell Charles. And they get Sandoff. Sandoff. Here's the feed. Oh! Scott! Whoa! Scott! Brings the crowd to its feet. He's got 24 in the game. Going back the other way with 16 seconds to play. Jones, Destrahan feeds it out. Raekwon McKnight. Sandoff has it. Sandoff again. He fed it last time. He'll take it to the hoop himself this time. And he gets fouled. And one thing for sure, Ken, with five seconds left, they could have held the ball and, and the game would be over. But Sandoff. He had to take the shot, but look at this. The feed by Quentin Sandoff, Scott. and Whoa. hallelujah time right there. He's feeling it. Quentin Scott brought the fans to their feet. 104-97, five seconds left. Sandoff hits the shot. Well, you talk about a quiet 12 points. Ron Trell Sandoff from Thibodeau High. He, he's been impressive as a floor leader. Hey, first team all district, 5A all state. And they come Randolph. up with the rebound, and that's it. Charles comes up with it. That's it. And that's going to be it. That's it. 105 to 97. The River Parishes wins the game, and the River Parish Schools takes a 3 2 lead in the series going into next year. All right, Ken, we're we getting ready for the MVP vote, and I think it's pretty close, isn't it? <laughs> I think you, we know exactly who it's going to be.